2013. Today is Tuesday, September 24th, 2013. Well, I'm at my front yard, and uh, this is my front lawn. And what left of my lawn, right? It's completely dead, and that's the way I planted. I didn't want any lawn at all. I want to grow tree, I want to grow plants, I want to grow vegetable. But anyway, today I want to show you guys two of my uh, newly planted uh, plant or plants or whatever you want to call it, cactus. Now this here are the dragon fruit. Uh, this is one of the white, white variety, white flesh variety. Uh, in my last video, uh, I show you guys how I, uh, how I start propagating this from cutting. Uh, about, this is uh, about an 18 inch um, cutting that I got from my sister. And finally, they are established in this uh, soil here. Uh, the soil, I amend the soil, highly amend the soil. Uh, I add a lot of perlite, a lot of compost to loosen up the soil. Now, dragon fruit or pitaya come from uh, South America. And they will do quite well in the uh, tropics. Uh, and uh, they will do quite well in California too. But one thing that will kill them is that the uh, drainage. So if you have clay soil, and if the water do not drain, uh, that will that will kill the plant. So I bent the soil. I dug about about five buckets, uh, five gallon, five bucket of five gallons of soil, and then add a lot of compost, uh, add some perlite, uh, some sand to it, and some of the organic soil to it. Now ho hopefully uh, the plant will respond to it. And it seems like he's responding to it. I planted this over a week ago, and I can tell that the growth here. Uh, a week ago was really probably half the size, and now it's about four inches now. Uh, same thing with this one here. Uh, it's showing the third growth here. Because the beginning was this right here, from this down to below. That was the beginning. And this is all, oh, this section was, was, was the new growth, that's how I can tell. And this is right here, a new growth. So this is a very encouraging sign. Now eventually I have to build a trellis uh, to, to, uh, to help this two uh, plant clump up. And right now I'm growing single stem and once it reaches about six feet, then I'll allow it to branch out like an umbrella. So this is how I imagine it. So eventually it'll take up at least from this guy here, from this point down, it'll take up another three, maybe three feet to the left or to the right, doesn't matter. And same thing with this one. From this eye on, it will extend out about three feet. I meant from the top, six feet from the top. So it looked like an umbrella. And uh, it probably require a different type of structure, uh, a trellis, uh, unlike tomatoes. So you need a lot more heavier structure to hold this too. And also, eventually I will try to grow the red flesh variety too. Right now, I don't have the plant, I don't have the cutting. My relative do have one, one plant, but it's a young plant, so I can't use a cutting. Uh, you have to use an, an, a cutting from an old, mature plant, maybe two or three years old. Okay, so that's my update on my dragon fruit. As you can see here, a lot of mulch here. Very moist, about uh, four to six inches of mulch organic mulch and compost. That will keep the soil somewhat moist. But to make sure you must have good drainage, otherwise the plant will die. Uh, dragon fruit seems to like moisture. It seems to like the heat and moisture. But like I say, you, they, you have to have drainage. Okay, well thank you uh, for watching and please tune in and uh, eventually I will update everyone in the next video when I built the trunks and thank you